Hello and welcome to Knowledge Bar. My name is Jerry. I'm going to be your knowledge expert and going over how to convert connections like this on the back of your printer into something a little bit more fitting for the 21st century. And what I mean by that is, all right, we don't want to use this kind of connector because there's nothing on the back of our computer that looks like this anymore. And we don't really want to use a connector like this because we want to be able to share this printer with all the other computers in our house. We want to use a connector like this, but there's nowhere for it to go. So what do you do? You're going to get something that looks like this. All right. What this does, this is called a parallel port print server. So from this end here, it's going to connect into the back of the printer. And then on the back end here, we can use a cable like this and hook up into our router. All right. So once again, we're going to be able to go ahead, hook up to the device, to the printer, and the printer hooks up to the router, and then everything else now hooks up to the internet and then the rest of our network. Cool, huh? But wait, let's say you do have a slightly more modern printer and you don't have one of these, but you do have one of these USB connections. Great. Get a device that looks like this. All right, it's a USB connector. Same concept. We're going to go ahead, hook it up to the... Uh, hook up to the printer and with the cable then, that's then now, now hooks up into our router and again, we're on the network. But let's say we're gonna get really fancy and we wanna go wireless, there is an option, not so much for the old uh, 36 pence and tri connection, but we can go ahead and we go wireless. And so now we go ahead, we could wireless and everything can go through the router or even independently to an individual laptop. And that's the, uh, the ticket on how to uh, turn this into something we can share. Thanks for watching.